I call it. Yeah. 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 I was thinking about that's a good good point, those principles I was, I was thinking about. Now I know there's some sayings at the end of the family athlete, but that's not really a principle. That's a little bit of stuff like that. I was thinking about that because uh, I remember when Hazelden came out with those uh, they put a principle behind each one of the steps, but that's not in the book. Uh, and but they have a couple in there and I like the, I like what they talk about in their story and this ties into the topic about coming out of the cyclone so that's why I'm talking about it because I was thinking about things I could talk about that would dovetail with that and the different ways I can look at that statement. Uh, in Bill's story it talks about uh, establishing a new order of things and it taking honesty, open mindedness and humility. And how I got a disease that said, those sound good because none of those sound like anything to do with work. Honesty, open mindedness, humility. I can sit right here and be all that. Unfortunately, those of us who've been around, we know that that it takes a little bit more of that than that to stay here. And later on in the book, I think it's uh, on 163, it adds the crucial two that go with honesty, open mindedness, humility, humility. And it says to duplicate with such backing what we have accomplished here is a matter of willingness, patience, and labor. Okay, so now we've got uh, some important ones at, at the end there that absolutely sound like something that uh, uh, I need to uh, take some serious effort to do. I got to be willingness to do something, which is easy to do. I can say I'm willing, just like I'm sitting here, but then I'm like the three frogs on a log, right? I make a decision to jump, but uh, nobody's jumped or done anything. But the labor is real important to me. So the reason that that uh, dovetails into the topic is because, you know, I have to be honest with myself that I have this thing, open-mindedness to, to uh, believe that somebody else is telling me something that pertains to me because my disease wants to shut off anything to do with anything that challenges my belief system. I'm looking for co-signers for my bullshit, not challengers to my belief system, which is what I absolutely need when I get here. Because if everything was great in my belief system, I wouldn't even need to be here. So I need to be open-mindedness to that and uh, the, the humility to, to know that I need to uh, seek improvement. Uh, but as, as Bill talked about in the 12 and 12, on 58, he defined humility as realizing who and what I have become and being willing to move toward what I can be, meaning I need to uh, acknowledge the, uh, of my, my serious handicap and be willing to move past that and not just claim I'm off the sauce today, everything's great, like the guy coming out of the cyclone cellar. Uh, and that's going to take effort. Um, I remember one of my first meetings, uh, I heard an old timer, he doesn't go to meetings here much. He goes out to Huffman, I think he's still around. Anyway, he said, uh, I think he had, I don't know, upwards of 20 at the time, which was forever ago, let's just say before cell phone. Um, and uh, he said, I'm the same sick, selfish son of a bitch as the first day I walked in, and I still don't know anything. And I said it like that because that is an exact quote I made myself memorize. Uh, and I was thinking to myself, boy, that, that doesn't sound too good, brother. I'm a newcomer, you know, he's the same guy. He, he's saying he's saying he hasn't done anything. I mean, he seemed to have people flocking around him. So I believe that he actually has done something. Uh, I believe that he's not the same person. I believe that he does know something. I believe he was dispensing what I call fake humility, trying to make people think he's so humble because he's saying he's still this lowly whatever creature and fake humility is something Bill uh, Dr. Bob and Dr. Bob and the old timers said he hated when he heard in meetings people dispensing fake humility because what I need to realize is there's newcomers in here that need to hear that somebody has done this they need to hear that somebody is not the same person they need to hear that somebody does know something and is willing to share that something and let's hope that that something number one sounds good and number two instills hope and motivation in a newcomer who's saying, man, I just don't know if I've got what it takes. Because in how it works, it talks about if you want what we have, then you're willing to take certain steps. Let's hope that what we have and what we're sharing sounds good to somebody. Because somebody saying they're the same sick, selfish son of a bitch does not sound good to me. It does not make me want to put honesty, open-mindedness, humility, willingness, patience, or labor into any damn thing if that's what I'm going to get on the back end. 
But the truth is that this effort is well worth it. Um, I think that making some days two days in recovery is absolutely essential if you're new. I remember that, that, that my disease robbed me of certain hobbies and things that I loved in my life, and they sat up on the shelf collecting dust. And the more I pick those off the shelf, dust them off, and start trying to rekindle those old passions, whether it be guitar or taking Fred Astaire dance lessons, that someday that may never come unless I make it a today, and I attribute those things in recovery, that's when recovery starts meaning something. I have found that uh, that was one of my Sundays, by the way. I kept passing the Fred Astaire dance lesson place, and I finally pulled in and paid my money and took Fred Astaire dance lessons for six months, and I fucking did it. I may never use the shit the rest of my life, but I actually did it. Now it's on to the next one, baby. And there are several that I've done in recovery. If I'm, if I'm gonna tell you I'm here years later, I'm unemployed, I'm unemployable, I have no driver's license, I have no passion or, or ambition to do anything. Yeah. All I do is stay off alcohol and play on Facebook. You're gonna think, well holy fuck. That is not much of a of, of a message. But that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is is that I've made a lot of those some days today, but it's taken that effort and labor. It's taken having my belief system challenged and embracing that amidst my disease telling me to tell that son of a bitch, uh, you know, he don't know what he's talking about. It takes a lot of things that are uncomfortable. But what I'm telling you is that my experience is, is that, 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 that the benefits far outweigh the cost. And the effort necessary is a fraction of what it took to stay out there. I'm here to report that as well. So I'm not the guy coming out of the cyclone cellar. I realize I'm constantly teachable and I'm looking forward to learning more, but I'm not the same person as when I walked in. Much has happened. I've had a spiritual awakening as a result of these steps and I'll